Have you ever wondered why some dogs pick up tricks in no time while others seem to struggle? What if I told you that understanding the science of dog training could revolutionize your relationship with your furry friend? You'll want to stick around to the end as we uncover the secrets of canine learning, debunk common myths, and share proven tips to make your training sessions more effective than ever. To train our dogs effectively, we first need to understand how they learn. Dogs, like humans, learn through a process called conditioning. There are two main types. Classical conditioning, where dogs associate a neutral stimulus with a significant one. And operant conditioning, where behaviors are influenced by their consequences. Let's break this down a bit more. Classical conditioning is famously illustrated by Ivan Pavlov's experiments with dogs, where he rang a bell before feeding them. Over time, the dogs began to salivate at the sound of the bell, even when no food was presented. This demonstrates how dogs can learn to associate one stimulus with another. In training, this can be useful for establishing a command with a specific cue, like a sound or a hand signal. For example, if you consistently use a clicker sound when your dog performs a desired behavior, they will begin to associate the click with a reward. This can be a powerful tool in your training arsenal. Today, we'll focus on operant conditioning, which is the foundation of most dog training techniques. This method is all about consequences. When a dog performs a behavior, they receive a consequence that can either reinforce or discourage that behavior. Let's dive into the core concepts of reinforcement. Positive reinforcement means adding something pleasant to encourage a behavior. For example, when your dog sits on command and you reward them with a treat, you're reinforcing that behavior. This method not only encourages the desired behavior, but also strengthens the bond between you and your dog. On the flip side, negative reinforcement involves removing something unpleasant to promote a behavior. For instance, if you stop pulling on the leash, when your dog stops pulling, you're using negative reinforcement. However, it's important to clarify that negative reinforcement is not the same as punishment. Punishment aims to decrease a behavior, while negative reinforcement seeks to increase a behavior by removing an aversive condition. While both methods can be effective, positive reinforcement is generally more enjoyable for both you and your dog. It creates a positive learning environment and encourages your dog to engage with you. Now, let's make your training sessions as effective as possible. Here are some key tips. Keep it short and fun. Aim for sessions of just five to 10 minutes. Dogs have short attention spans, so you want to keep them engaged and end on a high note. You can have multiple short sessions throughout the day rather than one long session. For example, try a quick training session before meals or during playtime. Use high value rewards. Treats or toys that your dog loves can make a big difference, especially when teaching new behaviors. Experiment with different rewards to see what motivates your dog the most. For some dogs, a favorite toy might be more enticing than treats. You could even try using small pieces of cooked chicken or cheese as high value treats during training. Be consistent. Ensure everyone in your household uses the same commands and techniques. Consistency helps your dog learn faster. If one person uses sit and another uses sit down, it can confuse your dog. Create a training manual for your family members to ensure everyone is on the same page. Practice patience. Every dog learns at their own pace. Celebrate small victories 
and stay positive. If your dog doesn't get a command right away, don't get frustrated. Instead, try to understand what they might be struggling with and adjust your approach. For example, if your dog is having trouble with stay, start with shorter durations before gradually increasing the time. Incorporate play. Make training a game. Use toys or playtime as rewards. This not only makes training more enjoyable, but also reinforces the idea that learning is fun. For instance, after a successful training session, engage your dog in a game of fetch or tug of war. Use clear commands. Keep your commands short and distinct. Dogs respond better to one or two syllable words. Instead of saying, come here, simply say, come. This clarity helps your dog understand what you expect from them. Vary your training locations. Dogs can get used to training in one location, so try varying the environment. Practice commands in different rooms, outside, or even at a park. This helps your dog generalize the behavior to different settings. Involve other dogs. If your dog is social, consider incorporating other dogs into your training sessions. This can help with socialization and make training more dynamic. Just ensure that all dogs involved are well behaved and comfortable with each other. Let's debunk some common myths that can hinder your training efforts. Myth number one, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. This is false. Older dogs can learn. It just may take a bit more time and patience. In fact, older dogs often have a wealth of experience and may be more eager to please. Myth number two, using treats is bribery. In reality, treats are a valuable tool for reinforcement not bribery. Over time, you can phase out treats and rely on praise or toys. The goal is to make the behavior habitual. Myth number three, some breeds are untrainable. While certain breeds may be more challenging due to their instincts, with the right approach, any dog can learn. It's essential to understand your dog's breed traits and tailor your training accordingly. Myth number four, dogs only learn from their owners. Dogs can learn from observing other dogs too. Socialization plays a vital role in their learning process. Consider setting up play dates with well-trained dogs to help your dog learn through observation. Training is an ongoing journey, not a destination. By understanding the science behind how dogs learn you can tailor your approach to fit your dog's unique needs. Remember, the bond you build during training is just as important as the skills you teach. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights into the world of dogs. Keep learning, keep training, and most importantly, keep having fun with your furry friend. We'd love to hear about your training successes or challenges in the comments below. Share your stories and tips with our community. Until next time, happy training.